What is going on guys, Handish here, and today it's going to be a tutorial of how to kill Oryx inside of the King's Fall Raid. So firstly, you're going to want a pretty decent scout rifle or pulse rifle, preferably in my opinion. You're going to want a sniper rifle with decent impact and fire rate, or a fusion rifle, and heavy machine guns are pretty much going to be a must for this fight. So have them as highly leveled as you possibly can. As for your overall level, preferably you want to be 295. That will give you a decent advantage on kind of doing the damage phases and taking damage back in this fight you can do this fight at 293 and lower levels it is possible so it's a bit of a myth that 295 is required but it is beneficial to have that so as well as the weapons on the light level you're going to want everyone to have a designated role so four people will be designated to have platforms one person will be designated to be the relic runner because the first platform you jump on will give you the relic so you now have the option to choose who runs the relic and then one other person will be what we call a floater basically running around in the center killing as much ads and helping out with the ogres that will spawn slightly later on so that is what you're going to kind of require and then the mechanics start once you've cleared ads oryx will move to one of these backside platforms right here he's going to slam his fist down this time the relic runner can be designated by your team so someone is going to jump up grab that orb of light on the first platform second platform goes up third platform and then fourth platform just like the death singers the relic runner can now go do his thing what you are going to get is ogre spawn on every single platform. They will spawn on the platforms at the side that Oryx is at first. So make sure you get them down as quick as possible. Throw your sticky grenades, burn them. Once yours is down, make sure you help your teammates, as you can see right here, to finish off that next ogre. Now, once the relic runner has the relic, you can get off your plate. Make sure those ogres are absolutely down. Now, you see this tomb ship will spawn in the middle of the room at the back and will drop this knight called the Vessel of Oryx. You want to get this Vessel of Oryx killed as quickly as possible. You're going to want weapons of light around about the center right here so that you can use that to burn Oryx right here. So he's going to open his chest. We're going to empty all of our secondary, switch to our primary. We have a flinch, so that is really good. Now, whichever platform you are on, you will get a black orb from your ogre. You're going to want to run to that and is in sync as possible with your teammates. You're going to want to stand in them, detonate them. They take about three or four seconds to detonate. Once they're detonated, jump back to the middle as quickly as you can and continue to burn Oryx right there. Whoever doesn't have to to go and detonate so that whoever wasn't on a platform is just going to want to stand in the middle with the relic guy and continue doing damage to oryx while you do this so now the first phase for us is complete after this oryx will spawn at the back of the room right there and he's going to actually fire these kind of white orbs at us which will do damage to us and actually kill us if they catch us so as soon as you see him go back to your own individual platform and just begin to run around in circles this will allow you to evade kind of whatever it is that is chasing you right there whoever had the relic and is kind of being the float and killer adds in the middle is just going to want to kind of find a spot at the back of the room and run around in tight circles and this will allow you to kind of escape this damage so you just keep going until it kind of uh, disperses you will kind of see when it disperses it will stop following you and your teammates can shout that out you will get knights on the platforms as well during this process so once you're done make sure they are killed now as you can see rx is going to dupe us out and he's going to move to this front right platform so just make sure your relic runner and the other teammates are ready on their platform as soon as possible. He's going to slam his fist right here. When he's actually done that, the relic runner could jump up, grab the orb, other teammates, and then we're going to go around in the anti-clockwise sequence, same as Death Singers, jumping onto the platforms. Once all the platforms are done, remember the ogres will spawn on the side that Oryx is at first. So as you can see, we've got one ogre there. I'm waiting for my ogre right here, and then the guys at the back will get their ogres too. So same process, just make sure you've got ammo, sticky grenades, you're going to burn the hell out those ogres as soon as they spawn make sure they don't get into the middle of the room that you don't take too long to kill them it will affect kind of your entire cycle whilst trying to kill oryx so once you've got that relic off the platforms again get to the middle the vessel of oryx will spawn from the tomb ship right here we've got weapons of light on the side that oryx is actually on so we're going to want to burn that vessel and then get through the weapons and get ready to do a damage phase on oryx so get your sniper ammo your secondary absolutely empty it into oryx switch to your primary and continue that burn as you can see another flinch already so we're doing great damage right here we're going to jump to these orbs count down together and then jump in remember it takes three or four seconds inside so just wait there for it to detonate then jump back to the center and help your teammates to continue the dps on oryx right here what you want to do is actually get your reloads while you're waiting in the kind of detonation bubble so that you're ready to do damage as soon as that process is complete as you see we've got to keep burning and we get another 
another flinch. So whenever he flinches, you've done enough damage. If you don't get him to flinch, he will wipe your entire team instantaneously. And that could be at any part of this kind of sequence. So you always have to be ready reloaded. As you can see, he's at the back of the room. I actually get ready to start running right here. But what happens is once you have him under half health, he will do a different mechanic where he starts teleporting you guys separately to kind of another dimension where you have to fight a kind of mini sub boss so as you can see i'm here right now there will be a boss here called the shadow of oryx as you can see you're just going to want to start doing damage to this boss with your heavy machine guns and your specials if possible make sure you've got enough ammo for when you come back out of this part though so just going to burn him generally this kind of shadow of oryx will appear and then kind of skip round into the left in kind of 45 degree angles that's generally how it works you just want to keep your eyes on them get as much damage every time you can see them as possible it is pretty critical and they will kind of lurch into this middle bubble and do damage and kind of attack players so just be ready if they start coming to be able to jump out of the way and kind of cleverly you know kind of evade them so as you can see we're burning them out here i actually managed to get them down now we're going to spawn back into the room and we've got another cycle of that original phase coming up so everyone onto the same platforms again you've got the same relic runner and you have the same person in the center who is just focusing on ads and ogre so as you can see we're all getting on our platforms ready oryx is actually spawning on the back right now he slams his fist relic runner is going to jump up first then the second platform then me on the third and the final platform will jump up same as death singers it's a very important part of the mechanic so now we've got ogre spawning at the front side where oryx is so us at the back just need to kind of be ready for our ogres to spawn same process burn them as quickly as possible you don't want them hanging around or running off to the center it will cause you no end of problems and also you want to keep those black orbs they drop to the sides as well if you kill them in the middle the black orb will be there and chances are someone will run through it by accident which will mess your process up so now relic runner is in the middle the vessel of oryx has spawned in so we're going to want to burn that vessel of oryx down as quickly as possible we have the weapons of light bubble up so that's a pretty good thing now now, Oryx is going to prepare to do another damage phase right here. So get your secondaries, burn the secondary out, switch to your primary if you need to, and continue to burn. Now we've got a flinch. So as soon as that flinch happens, back to your own individual orbs, count down together, and jump in. Now, this is where ad control is kind of important. As you can see, the ads that have spawned at the back actually take me out, so mine does not get detonated right there. This isn't the most critical thing as long as your team can do enough damage. So the teammates right here in the middle are doing the same process as before, just burning Oryx after. As you can see, it takes a teeny bit longer perhaps than before with one less player, but they do manage to pull it off, so that is a really good thing. So now Oryx is under half health. We don't have to worry about him shooting stuff and running around. That mechanic is now gone. On. as you can see he's forming this orb in the middle of the room he's going to teleport us again so if anyone is dead you're going to want to absolutely get them rezzed as soon as possible during this process so there's kind of some good times to die and some bad times to die preferably don't die whenever you need to do damage phases to oryx but anyway as you can see right here we're just getting slowly teleported one by one we need to get that teammates res as my teammates go for it they actually get teleported so you need to make sure if someone dies that you've got everyone focusing on trying to get them back in the fight as soon as as you can while you have this kind of time advantage where you can do it so as you can see jump over i get some ammo and get that res and then i get teleported straight away so that was very lucky right there so what we're going to do here again is the same process we're going to look out for the shadow of oryx once they spawn we're going to be doing that dps to them as quickly as possible we don't want them hanging around or this process to take too long because that will kind of wipe your team and end up with problems later on in the fight so as you can see they get taken out pretty quick by my teammates we're back in and we're gonna start the same process again so get back to your own individual plate designate a relic runner knows where they're going and the floater who's controlling ads will know where they're going as well so as you can see this time oryx is carrying on spawning on the back left here so the relic runner is getting ready he's jumping up i'm going second then we've got the third and fourth finally remember ogres will spawn on the side that oryx is so the guys at that front right there have to get the ogres first then we're burning our ogres right here making sure they're absolutely dead remember that we don't want them getting into the middle of the room or taking too long to kill because we need to get back and start our dps on oryx as soon as possible so relic runner has the relic you can jump off your plate get to the center remember the tomb ship and the vessel of oryx is coming up we have the weapons of light right there as we can see we're just going to burn that vessel of oryx as quickly as possible get him out and then we are prepared to do another phase of damage on top of oryx so we're going to turn around get ready to damage oryx right here so switch to your secondary make sure it's reloaded 
Once he opens his chest up, you're going to want to empty that mag as soon as possible. So as you can see, just empty that mag out, switch to your primary just to finish off that flinch. We get another flinch, so everything's going good here. Go back to your own individual orb. I'm going to wait, count down together, and then jump in together. Wait three or four seconds to make sure it actually detonates. Be careful of how much damage you take from other adds here, but then jump straight back to the middle. We need to get some more damage on Oryx before we have any more phases right here. So just empty that secondary, then empty that primary as quickly as you can. Now, we get another flinch on Oryx right here, and he's actually going to want to teleport us again. So Oryx is pretty pissed at us right now because he's under half. Remember, every mechanic from the middle here will be a teleport. So make sure you've got your heavy ammo and stuff ready to take that wizard out as soon as physically possible once you have been teleported. So basically, this is all just about doing a lot of damage at the right times, being very much ready and having a lot of communication. You're going to need a good team to actually get through this particular fight, but it is a, an achievable fight the, the mechanics in this are absolutely awesome it's you know it's the best raid i think that bungie have ever made it's really really damn cool so make sure you've got that heavy ammo anyway my teammates are getting teleported now slowly so we just want to clear these taken thralls on the outside as much as we can i've spawned in so we're going to look for that shadow of oryx right here as you can see i've only just spawned but the shadow is kind of pretty unpredictable sometimes you can't tell where they're going and i get taken out very rapidly right there luckily if you do get taken out inside your orb will spawn on the outside outside so assuming those guys can now kill the shadow in there we're not actually in the worst position in the world because i've just got my countdown ready um so everyone can grab me pretty soon so oryx will now move to his kind of uh, rotation phase where he'll start on a particular platform so i've got a few seconds this is important that i'm rezzed because one of the platforms is my kind of responsibility so they get the res on me right here and but luckily Oryx moves to the platform I'm going to. So he kind of dupes us out, which takes a bit longer. So that did actually work to our benefit right here. So he slammed his fist down. I'm jumping up with Relic on the first platform. Remember again, second platform, third platform, and fourth platform in the same sequence as Death Singers. You'll have your ogres on the side that Oryx is at, remember? So just burn those ogres as quickly as you physically can. You want them out of the way so that you can get moving once the Relic Runner has that Relic. So as you can see, he's just moving up. He's got the relic right there, it takes him a second, so we can jump off our platforms and we're going to jump into the middle again, ready for the Vessel of Oryx at the back side of the room. So we're just going to burn that ogre which got left a little bit too long. I'm throwing Weapons of Light up right here. We're going to take the Vessel of Oryx down as quickly as you can because you need to get those damage phases on Oryx as soon as he allows you to. So get your special out, he's going to open his chest and remember to be fully reloaded here if possible. So we're going to burn that secondary away. I'm going to switch up to primary, continue that flinch. He gets the flinch, so that is all pretty good. Now what we need to do is jump to our own individual orbs, count down, three, two, one, jump in, wait for three or four seconds, make sure it detonates, then jump back to the center as quick as you can, get some more damage on Oryx. So as you can see, he's got very low health right now. We are burning him still, and we're just going to make sure we get that flinch that we need on this particular run. Now, if he gets to this kind of level of health, when he flinches, what you're going to want to do is prepare at the back side of the room. He will spawn there again, as though he's going to do another mechanic. This is when you kill Oryx, right here. So now, he's going to open his chest up. He's got no health make sure you're reloaded absolutely burn everything you have into oryx at this point it's majorly critical and as you can see there is oryx he goes down and we have completed the king's fall raid so there you go guys i really hope that that has helped you out in killing oryx these are the basic mechanics that you need a lot of you guys found my death singer video useful it was done a very similar style to this particular video so i hope it has helped if it has drop me a like if you have any questions comment down below and hopefully we can help you out if you are new to the channel as well and you want to see more content like this then feel free to hit that subscribe button down below but for now you guys have an absolutely awesome week enjoy the king's fall raid and i will catch you very soon peace out